Wow, that was loud. Uh, and there was also Skippy. I don't remember what the board state was. One second. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hello, everyone. This is me. If you're watching this in sequence, this should be pretty standard. Uh, I'm playing against Scavenger 13, and I have to mulligan this hand. Uh, I can keep this one, though. He could have not blocked with the 2-2. Two, two. I don't remember what the board... Didn't I just only have two creatures in play? Like, I wasn't going to discard my cards to the boon guy, because what if he just... Like, the thing I'm playing around there is uh, fog. Uh, so I'm not going to discard stuff. I don't know. I'll have to rewatch the video. Uh, my opponent's playing blue, and since I pass two Sea Gods Revenges, that means I'm going to lose. I don't know. You might be right. I don't remember what the game state was. Uh, what's going on? Ooh, it's so good. It doesn't even die to my Parika's Cure. And he put... Top Top. So, this is gonna be an ordeal. Um, do I have a reason to play the Baleful Eidolon? Not particularly. I mean, it makes the Flanix dude better. Yeah, let's just... Blue white. Interesting. He probably got a Franax leader. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna block. I don't. There's not a lot of stuff that's gonna be. Whoa, charlatan. What kind of brew going on here. The controller of target instants or so. Okay, yeah, so he can only do his stuff. Well, he can do my stuff. Aqueous form. That's interesting. Okay. No land? No land would be cool. This is two power, right? Yeah. He scries, he put it on top. Um, He has four cards in hand. So I think... I'll just play the... this. And he could have, like, a voyaging in. It was probably, yeah, he kept the land on top, so... Yep, can't do jack about your Jimmy charlatan. Okay. He put the card on the bottom the first time from the attack. And he's tanking. Put that one on the bottom as well. He has scried a lot of cards. Hopeful Eidolon? Interesting. Uh, he only has two cards in hand, so let's just get it out of his hand. Let's just get his best one. Ah, oh, pfft, Sea God's Revenge. Doesn't even matter that he can cast the Chimera. Yeah. Where am I? Okay, I drew a land, so that means I have six mana. So what do I want to do here? 
I sort of have to find a way to deal with that. If I play the Blood Toll Harpy, he can attack for three next turn. It's not so bad. I think the best use of my mana is to play the Triad this turn. Parika's hold up Parika's cure. I'm not too terribly worried if he counters it, so I can wait till the end of his turn. And then next turn, maybe I can start doing stuff with like. Is that right? Or do I want to play the Blood Toll Harpy? Hmm. Now, if I draw a Grey Merchant, this is a much better play. And plus, I can start, like, um, draw stepping him with the Dice Disciple every other turn. Yeah. Yeah, that seems okay. Oh, actually, no. I don't want him to, uh... Sorry. I was gonna leave the Hopeful Eidolon alive, but if he has a Voyage again in hand, I don't want him bouncing the Hopeful Eidolon and bestowing it. So, going to kill it now. Yeah. <laughs> whole, bunch of, whole bunch of reasons not to. Sorry, I got the window open, so the door's creaking. I'll be back in a second. I have no blocks, right? Yeah. And I return. I'm not even listening to anything. I don't know why I've got these headphones on. Something happened. Oh. Uh, yeah, see? <laughs> I drew a gray merchant. Uh, the question is, do I play around a counter spell? Because I did pass one. Nah. One card in hand? Yeah. Voltron Pseudo Assembled. The world's clunkiest Voltron. I could be draw-stepping him, but since he's got this guy... Actually, maybe that is a better reason to draw-step him. Well, all day, every other day. And you could just have that other Sea God's Revenge, because I took... I passed the Sea God's Revenge, or I took something... I don't remember. I'm so off my game ever since I started working. Not that I had much game to begin with. Is this a exile target creature? So both abilities target, eh? So that means he can bounce the Grey Merchant in response to that, I guess? Uh, okay. Fair? One, two, three, four, five. Should I just kill this? Two, three, four. Hmm. There's no. Th well, if he has, if he has last breath, he has last breath. So. Oh man, can you imagine if he was doubling these bounces? I guess it's like bad for him here. <laughs> but like if 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 they were profitable. Yeah, I should have left up well, whatever. I guess I'm more likely to have Boon of Airboros than um God's willing? Am I? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I am. If he has counters? Oh. He has Triton Tactics? You got me. Oh man, he could have bounced three things? This might, like, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of synergy with this charlatan. Uh, 
Okay, just a hoplite? Perfect. No cards in hand? No cards in hand. Uh, so I th think I play the triad, swing for two. Did he keep that card on hand? He put it on the bottom. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so he's got no cards in hand, so it doesn't matter what order I do this in. I'm just going to play the Baleful Eidolon. He can't kill it because he has no cards in hand. Because if I draw a land, I might be able to go crazy. And these are the same kind of fake counters on, like, Oblivion Stone, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> He's almost... He must have... I guess he's... Uh, another bottom. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. How do I want to do this? Is he dead if I just swing with everything? One, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So he goes to one. Yeah, he's not dead this turn. Oh no, but I can play this. Yeah, but then he can double. He can. He can. He can block. He can block. Like, he can lose this ability more than once, and it stacks. You can use this ability more than once. And it stacks, so he can just block my entire team. So he's nowhere near dead this turn. Oh, but he's apparently F6. <laughs> but apparently he F6, so. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know it stacks either. Local card shop says, okay. Um, uh, okay, now we, I think he still goes to one here, doesn't he? Because one, two, okay, whatever. Oh, then I could, yeah. Alright, so his deck had stuff? A whole bunch of bounce spells. That's what his deck had. So maybe the ordeals are kind of worse. Hmm. Was he white? I don't even remember. I just played against him. Yeah, he was white, so... But he only played the Hopeful Eidolon as a white card, so I'm not sure about that. He's all those. He's got sea gods, two bounce spells. Hmm. The one three, and then he is really going to town on his deck. Do you think I should bring in the glare? I don't know. I think with all the bounce spells he has, I'm going to cut the ordeal for their snare caster. But I'm not sure about anything else. Yeah, I'll keep this. His deck didn't seem particularly fast. Probably not. You don't you don't like cutting the ordeal? Uh, play this so I don't draw another land. A wind speaker. Yeah. Oh, 
I F6 through my turn. I'm an idiot. Oh well. Well, and I should have played a. I am not paying attention. I apologize. Definitely F6 through my turn. Uh, I am just casting this idol on. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the aqueous form. Eh, I still might come back. His deck is not particularly fast. Uh, I would block here, but I want him. I want to get his. Uh, I want to force him to use like a bounce spell here. Wow. Guess I shouldn't have kept this in. Well, I guess I should have played that land. And I'm again playing planes for no good reason. That should be a swamp. Yeah. Oh no, he had Voyage's End. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. I should be paying attention to what he does. Here, I'll move this over here so you guys can see what he does, even if I'm not paying attention. Can't see that, right? Yeah, I am. I said sorry. Whatever. And what do you mean I'm handing this game? I made one mistake. Literally one. Everything else was according to plan. Well, one obvious mistake. Obviously, keeping the hand might have been a mistake, too. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, because I want my more expensive spells to stay on play because it's easier to replay a 2-mana spell as opposed to a 4-mana spell. So I lose much more tempo if he bounces a 4-mana spell. What? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make him take the Horizon Scholar. Uh, I'm going to take the Horizon Scholar because that's the one he can cast. Evangel of Heliod? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, and... 1-3 Battle Priest. Whatever, I can't spell. Uh, definitely get that out of your hand. And... I think I'm going to put a fake counter on something. I don't really want him to draw two, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to put a fake counter on the Disciple of Flanix. He put a card on top. That's probably... well even more reason to use the fake counter. Okay. He drew a land. You kill the 2-3? Do I kill it? Mm. No, I'm okay. I can, but I wanna... I don't know. I've got some time. Stop on my opponent's turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Flicker. Yeah, I got it. Uh, sorry. Yeah, there's a delay. Sorry, chowder. Exile target creature, then return it to the battlefield. That is the right one. Yeah, it's the white one. Uh, he drew a planes. Wow, he kept a planes. Um, do I care if he has this battle priest? 
Nah, I'm just gonna get rid of the Evangel. I don't. I guess I could have taken the planes there too, but like I'm, I'm only, I can only do this every other turn, and I might not even want to do it next turn. Hopefully, I draw land. I just want to draw land. Yeah, and you play your one three, and now you have no cards in hand. Land? Oh, just snap doing this. Yeah, I can definitely start doing that. Pop. Just to reset the monstrosity. Uh, I can swing too. Like, what the worst I'm gonna do is take one. Oh, he could he could play Seagull's Revenge. So the worst I could do is take two. But then I can reload because all my stuff is just cheap. I don't want to get too aggressive with the triad, though. I guess I could have. Yeah, I could have swung with the triad of fates there. Seagon's Revenge. He's tapping that awful quick. Oh, just a benthic giant. Whatever. Just don't draw another aqueous form and it'll be okay. Uh, so that's four. So he can triple block. One, two... Four, five, six. I don't. Do I want to do that? Then I kill all three of his guys? I could also bestow. Or do I just want to read the bones? Go to five? Die immediately to an aqueous form? Hmm. This is interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure I kill. So that means that means play read the. Well, yeah. I think I think I should attack because if I attack any triple blocks, then I can um, just like read the bones and go crazy. I think. Okay, so we didn't block. I think I still want to read the bones. I think I'm only losing to an aqueous form here. So I want to... Uh, oh. Uh, let me think here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh no, but he can block this one. So he can block with a battle wise. That's not right. So do I want the snare cast? Oh, but then I can... um. I can play this, so I can play so that was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So close, right? Three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah. I lose to Nimbus? Yeah, but I don't have any way to not lose to Nimbus. Yeah. Uh, land... Uh... Cast... And then leave open... That. Right? Because I might want... Do I want to... Am I ever going to bestow this on something? I don't think so. I'm just going to cast it. Yeah, that's true, but I had, I had already cast the read when he said that, so it didn't matter. Um, at this point, I actually think I want to put the fake counter on the disciple. Don't I? Okay. 
swing with these. Okay, and then I will upkeep or draw step. I still have a stop on his turn, right? And I'll chump block with the other one. I don't care. Yeah, I'm not sure. Why didn't he just... Yeah. I don't know. That goes away. Uh, three, four... Yeah, I'll block. I don't care. Just want to keep me above one hit with Aqueous Form. Like, now I don't even have to... Yes, it has. Yes, it has. But that's, like, that's another reason to do that. Uh, I think I'll swing with both of these. And then I'll put a... Then I'll flicker this next turn to kill it. Or I guess I can't even kill this, can I? Hmm. There's no good way to play around Hopeful Eidolon. Six, seven... Huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Eh. Okay. That's fine. So now he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. His creature's a 4 5. Alright. He's dead. He has no cards in hand. I have, yeah. Of course I'm the last one done again. Maniac. <laughs> no, the, the Hexproof guy is a 4-5 Hexproof. 